All right. Shalom. Start first by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Yahweh Kakudash. Brakat Yahweh. Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh. Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh. Brakat Yahweh Shai. Kahalal Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Yahweh Kakudash. Name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the Spirit. Uh, through His only begotten Son through the Holy Spirit. All right. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom. Um, ran through this uh this little news feed and came across um a World War World War Three, how Armageddon letter brought world within minutes of nuclear conflict. They're talking about from the Cuban Missile Crisis. We're gonna get into this article a little bit, and uh. I I got a couple comments to make about it. Okay, perhaps a couple scriptures as well. Um, this is by the Express.co.uk. All right. So it says uh, in this, and they show um, Fidel Castro and John F. Kennedy. All right. So World War Three would have almost certainly started had it not been for the bold decisions of world leaders. On what would become, excuse me, what would come to be known as Black Saturday. All right, and that was published on the fifteenth of Monday, the fifteenth. Uh, earlier today, it says uh, most uh, historians agree the Cuban Missile Crisis was the closest to the world has come to full scale nuclear war. The two-week standoff in 1962 erupted when the Soviet Union responded to a U.S. missile deployment in Turkey and Italy a year earlier by sending their own weapons to Cuba. All right, when these strategic, it was chess, the 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 the, the, um, the world leaders were putting um, their missiles in certain uh, locations. Okay, to strike, you know, the uh, the other uh, countries, and if you if you really think about what it was, Turkey and Italy is right there to hit Russia. Okay, but then Cuba is right there to hit America. Okay, it says um just miles from the U.S. state of Florida, U.S. President John F. Uh, U two spy planes to the Caribbean island, which pro produced clear photographic of the arrival of meteor and intermediate range of our team ballistic missiles. But this was all bull. Okay. But let me keep reading. He said, he immediately announced the U.S. would not permit offensive weapons to be delivered and created a blockade in the surrounding waters until the missiles were dismantled and returned to the Soviet Union. All right. It says the tense situation then snowballed out of control as the Kremlin traded words with the White House and the prospect of war looked increasingly likely. All right. The U.S. informed NATO the situation is growing shorter. Uh, the United States may find it necessary within a very short time in its interest uh, that of its fellow nations of the Western Hemisphere to take whatever military action may be necessary. All right. And this is some of the, the footage that they show. You know, I guess this is. Get rid of it. Stop seeing this head. I mean, come on, stop it. Stupid. Anyway, um, so we can kind of see this here. Okay, boom, well, clear footage of that. This is they shit. They they bringing it in. Okay, then it says uh, on October twenty seventh, remembered as Black Saturday, by the White House, Khrushchev received a letter from Castro known as the Armageddon letter, which was interpreted as urging the use of nuclear force. In the event of a of an attack on Cuba, now I was gonna go into the missiles and all of that, but really, 
we we know those scriptures, the Joel, the second chapter, and, and all of those things. But there's a lot going on here. This Armageddon letter wasn't what it was, man. This wasn't what stopped the war. What stopped the war was prophecy hadn't been fully fulfilled in other areas yet. The angels are still holding back the four winds uh, of destruction. Okay. Corn that hadn't um, uh, been on the scene, and the, the world, the the, the um, Israelites weren't known and call themselves uh, the children of Israel anymore. You know, the, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans that hadn't gone out at that point to where they were uh, they would remember themselves. Okay, as well as Hosea, uh, the first chapter. Okay, they should be called sons of the living God. You know, hadn't happened yet, as well as, um, well, I will grab that one in Joel, um, the third chapter, um, right here, verse two, I'll use this in verse two. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is Joel, the third chapter, the second verse, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Okay, they have cast lots for my people, and they have given a boy for an harlot and a girl for, for wine that they may drink. Okay, let me jump down to uh, the ninth verse. Um, yeah, there was prophecy that still had to, had to be fulfilled. Okay, the mark of the beast wasn't ready. Now it's ready, though. Okay. Now the mark of the beast is ready. Uh, verse uh, 9. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares in the, into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. The weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come. All ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Did the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh? Let the heathen be weakened, uh, so like awakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat, the, the land that will um that that will uh will the Lord Most High judge that that the world with that in that land over there, basically the Middle East. Okay, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Okay. It said, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. At that time in the 60s, the harvest wasn't ripe. Okay, we still have to reap the, 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 the elect of Israel. They weren't fully woke. Okay, the truth wasn't on the scene. From, from what I've heard, the truth didn't really hit to, the, to like 69, 70. Okay, so 62 work. That couldn't be fulfilled then. So it wasn't a letter that, that kept it from going. It was the most high God making the angels hold back the um the the, the, the four winds of destruction. Okay. Anyway, so let them come up. Okay, I said, put ye in a sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come down, get ye come, get ye down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Uh reminds me of what he said in uh Second address, you know, um, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Look, this homosexual thing is is out of control too. Most high is sick of that. Okay, the, the there's no truth or mercy or, or knowledge of the Most High in the land. That that being fulfilled as well. Okay, assault on on the children of Israel being shot down by cops left and right. That had to be fulfilled too. There's a lot that had to still be fulfilled before. Uh, World War Three could pop off during the 1960s. This mark of the beast is a is a really huge uh, prophecy that had to be fulfilled first, and that's how we know that this is the time because we measure the time diligently, looking at what this mark of the beast is. Okay, this mark of the beast is this RFID microchip. They didn't have that technology. In the 60s, okay, available to the public in the 60s. I, 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 I gotta at least say that, okay, all right, to where 
You can see the conditioning in this day and age now. It's the agenda of the mark of the beast with the microchip. Okay. We, you can see it. All right. And that goes on and on about that. Um, but the most high is who, who, um, who, who chooses when this should, which should uh, go down. Okay. Going back, it says, um, um, which was interpreted by as urging the use of nuclear force in the event of an attack on Cuba. And back then, I think it was only the hydrogen bomb or the atom bomb, the atomic bomb. That wasn't um, thermonuclear, man. Okay. It wasn't on the level that it is now. The, 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 the destruction that these missiles from the 60s give from the missiles of today are way far huger, okay? Far greater, all right? And even their delivery system. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back into Joel. Um, Joel 2 and, and 3. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Okay, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array, Okay, all of this, verse uh, verse 7, they shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, they shall march everyone on his ways, they shall not break their ranks. Okay, talking about those missiles. Now, I'm going to go from there. You can keep reading about that, but I'm going to go from there and go into, uh, matter of fact, I can't use this app. Bear with me one moment. Here it is. It's, I, I had it pulled up. Okay, um, let me see the one I want directly. Um, yeah, verse 13, second, that is 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows, well, those arrows are actually missiles. As it was described in Joel, the fire behind him is the flame that propels them. Okay, uh, that with are sharp and shall not miss shot into the ends of the world. Back then, they didn't have missiles that could be shot from the ends of the world. They didn't have intercontinental ballistic missiles. They had to move their equipment to Turkey. They had to move their equipment to Cuba. Okay, now they can shoot from America all the way to Russia, 30 minutes. And vice versa, rush it over here, 30 minutes, to get it over here to, to destroy ICBMs, okay? And it's more firepower um, on them, okay? That's how you understand that the time is now with these things, okay? They weren't able to shoot it from the ends of the earth, from where they were. They had to move their military a lot closer. The range wasn't what it is today. Okay, same thing Kim Jong Il, or Kim Jong Un anyway, his son, it would have been trying to put together, you know, for years now, trying to get the, the type of range on his missiles to be able to make it all the way over here. Okay, play behold the plagues are sent, they shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Once these missiles are shut off, they're not gonna, gonna go away. They're gonna go back into the silo and act like oh my bad. And never an accident. Okay, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth. So even the Cold War was just the situation heating up, but now it's about to, it's, it's hot. It's hot now and it's about to, it's got to come to pass. Out of a mighty archer, return it not backward, even so the plagues. That are sent upon earth shall not return. I'm talking about them missiles, man. Okay. Go back to the article. All right. Later that day, 
No, let me read this. It read this was what the what the uh, the the letter read. Okay, it read. I believe the imperialist aggressiveness is extremely dangerous, and if they actually carry out the brutal act of invading Cuba in violation of international law and morality, that would be the moment to eliminate such danger forever through the act of clear, legitimate defense, however harsh and terrible the solution may be. Okay, well, these missiles now bring even more destruction than that could have done from there. Okay. A series of signal depth charges. Okay, or a nuclear torpedo. Yeah. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong. They were they were look. Now look at this World War Three, why Russia's aggression mirrors Cuban Missile Crisis. You know? Yeah, because now the prophecy is set up and lined up. Now they can can do it. Just like everything looked behind when the year two thousand prophecy came about, right? But it but all hadn't been so now is it set up properly okay these things are now being put in order okay it's not going to be another 30 years before these before this goes down in my opinion you know no man know at the time but if i had to measure the time by the signs that the most high is given as many chariots as we see it in the sky as many prophecies we see and come to pass all the the, the wars and rumors of wars um 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 the, the microchip, the, the the way YouTube is tripping and, and just the world don't want this word to get out. The family of the word coming. Okay, as well as um martial law is ready and set is ready to be, you know, implemented. Okay. Whether it's Rex eighty four and all those other things. They got these Walmarts that they're talking about is ready for concentration camps, FEMA coffins and FEMA camps and all that. Man. It's ready and ripe now for this time. Okay. All right. So anyway, I'm. You can read this message yourself. I told this. This is this uh, message. Read this article yourself. I. I told you it was by Express. Co. Uk. You know. But um. Yeah. Um. The Most High controls when this goes down. All right. So anyway, with that, I'm going to close out. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Time for you, you Jace, to wake up out of sleep, man. The elect got to be. All right. And, 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 and these all got to come down with great wrath on us. Okay. All these things happen, man, before this World War Three gets kicked off all the way. All right. But we're, we're that close. We're that close. All right. So with that, I'm going to close out giving all praise and glory to the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Marukai Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and others that great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.